hello guys welcome back to my channel now this is a lesson 10 of the html tutorials for beginners okay and today we are going to be talking about the div tag all right now in our previous lesson we talked about how to add a line break and then the hr tag okay which is your horizontal rule and then we looked at how to add various line breaks in our website and we're able to break down our website into these various parts okay and at the bottom here you see we have the hr tag here dividing the socials all right now today we are going to be talking more about how to break our web page into different components using the div tag and the div tag is a very important tag in html okay because the div tag is what communicates with the CSS for us to be able to arrange our website in a particular way. All right. Now, before we um, before we really go through uh, adding div to our website or to our HTML, there are other tags used to divide them um, divide the websites. Okay. Now, um, the other ones are the section. So the section is like the the parent divider. Okay. So um, let's take for example your house. It has a home, for example. Now, in the house, we have the room, we have the parlor, we have the kitchen. Okay, now these are different sections of the house. Okay, we have the veranda, these are different sections of the house. Now, inside those sections, we now have um, some parts that are divided, right? So, in the kitchen, we have your shelf. Okay, in your room, we have your, 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 uh, your wardrobe. Okay, now the wardrobe is the div in terms of website. Okay, now in your kitchen, your shelf where you put your um your plates and all the rest, that's also a, a division. Okay, so that's a div. All right, so the divs live inside the section. All right, so this is a very important point we, we need to take note of. Now let me um take you down to a website, this website here, and let's look at um uh, different sections here. Okay, so at the top here we have what we call the nav, and the nav is also um a divider okay so the nav is used to divide the top of the website for you to have um your nav bars okay so we have your uh, your navigation links here the home the about me and all the rest so these are right, it's under a divider called the nav now if you look at the down part we now have a section here now you see the color we have the color ends here before we get a white color here that's the section so the all of this the all of this down to the end of this color is a section is one section okay now inside the section we now have we, ha we now have a div here that contains the this writing here the freelance developer and then we also have another div containing the image here and a different div containing the write-offs here okay now with these divs you can be able to style it you know to make it look the way it is now without the div you can't actually use css to you know to tell uh, this particular right up to be at the left and this one to be at the right so let's understand this concept very clearly now if you come down we also have um a different section so this is another section about me section now we have a div here carrying the containing the image here and then a different div containing all these write-ups okay now what you should also note is that um we have uh divs that are nested in divs okay so you can have several divs nested in a particular div for example the service here inside the service here this is a div okay now if you come down now we have three uh, three boxes here now each of these boxes are several uh, divs okay now we have a parent div that is uh, containing these three divs here before we now have the internal divs here all right so we have divs nested in different divs so that you can be able to know you know set um your your website the way you want it to be all right now this will help us when we get to css uh, in terms of positioning so if you want to position a particular picture right up to a particular div you know so we have the we have the parent div and we have the child div okay so we'll get to that when we start talking about css okay and also div have a naming convention all right where we have the class and the ids all right and we are also going to look at this in our next lesson okay in our next tutorial Okay, so just stick around and then you learn about that. Okay, now let's go to the code 
and let's start to give our um, our HTML code some zips. Okay. Now, um, if we look at the code at the top, let me start after the body here and give it a div. I want to give a div with just this heading here. So for this, I will give a div here, div, and then close it. Okay. Now we have the the opening and the closing tag of the div. Now let's cut the let's cut the the closing tag of the div control x and then move it down and paste it under where we want to drop it okay so let's move it now let's indent this two line okay with the tab okay just click on the tab and then you indent it you know so that you can be able to read it clearly all right let me also give a space here okay now for the sake of this tutorial we need just one content table of content okay so let me take off the unordered the ordered list and the description list we don't need that anymore and i believe you guys can can replicate this anytime because we've talked about this in our previous tutorial okay so i i delete that we have just one table of contents now let's wrap the table of contents here with a div so div then let's move Let's move the cut the closing tag and take it to the bottom of um I think we need to take this one off. This is part of the description list. Okay, so we'll paste it here and then you indent. Let's indent this again. Just highlight this and then use your tab to move it. Okay. And also uh, so here we have the Definition of family therapy, and then we have this. So let's wrap, um, let's wrap the all of this in a div. So the IV close, and then the cut. Let's take this one down here. Okay, so I think we have a video here too. Um, okay. So let's keep it after the video now what i would love to do here is let's let's give a nested a nested tag here okay i want the video when we are styling i want the video to be at the right and then the right of the paragraph to be um at the left or let's say okay let's say we want the second paragraph and the video to be side by side okay so with that we can add a nested nested the uh, div here just want us to learn about the nested div so let's do this cut and i take it down here i take this one down and i paste okay so let's move this one one step and let's move this one inside one step one two and also let's move let's move the all of this now one two all right so you see this is the opening div of this one here and this is the opening div of this other one here so i think it's looking good now all right i think we need to still let me still move this inside so we are clear okay okay so this is for this all right, so we are done with that. Let's go down. Let's add on a div here. Okay, let's close the div. And let's copy this. Let's cut it and then um let's take it down to here. 
before this the the h2a then paste okay so let's move this indent it to make your clothes look good if i push this one okay now i'm supposed to move this Okay, so let's also introduce another div here. So div, close it. Let's okay. So let's take it down to. this part here here we'll paste it here at this point let's indent it Okay, so um, we need to add another one here before the audio. So we cut the closing tag. Now you put it under the audio. Then you indent, don't forget. Always try to indent your codes. Or you can use the format method that will teach you in, um, I think in lesson three. Right click on format, that will also indent your code for you. So finally, let's give this last part a div. Okay. Let's give this last part a div. But I'd love to give the about us and socials different divs, but okay, let's give this one. Let's give all this one div. Let's indent this part, okay? Okay, so this is um, gonna be the end of this tutorial now if you look at the the website you'll find out that there is no changes right now the div that we introduced you not really um make any changes on the website but what is going to do is that when we are styling it in css it's going to be a very important tag okay so like we said our next lesson you're going to be talking about ids and classes and that's the naming convention of the div okay that will enable us to be able to style and then move and then arrange the website the way we would like okay so um you guys should stick around to the next lesson so that you get an important lesson okay so guys this is the end of this lesson okay now don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and also turn on your notification bell to receive more of these contents goodbye